unemployment, especially for, for fresh graduates, uh, people don't know whether they're going to get a job, whether they're going to be self-employed. It's, it's a very, very uncertain period of time. Because if you look at the statistics of the country, all universities bring out graduates and we need people to get jobs. And these people have been trained and they've been trained to do specific jobs, but they can't find these jobs. So these people are unemployed, they go on to bring out the creativity, the innovativeness to look for their other jobs. You may find someone is having a job, is a lawyer, did law at Macquarie University, but he can't find, that person doesn't have a job. So these people can, the government has to come in to give us at least uh, the initial capital, the beginning capital, where we can get this money, begin our own projects. I believe it is not at all the fault of the government, really. And okay, the people we are all holding responsible. I believe it's, it starts with us. I think uh, we as people, the educated, we have to create our own jobs. But the government has to take care of the people who are not educated, create something for them. Instead, what we are seeing is the government is concentrating more on the people who are somewhere. Yet there are people down here who are nowhere. So I believe if we can work hand in hand, Uganda can be a better place and unemployment can be eradicated. Many people think that, you see, we have unemployment because of the education system. My view is that that is not the, that is not the problem. The education system is there to assist us to give us that skill that we can interpret things that are around us, how we can utilize it. It is not a straight way to take you into doing something. So uh, we shall meet here at Makere University Business School to carry out what we call the Innovations Clinic. It's going to be a 24-hour activity which will actually focus students into thinking about business ideas that are viable. Those that are going to solve our problem we have identified, which is unemployment. Uh, 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 the boot camp on, uh, on the 19th to 20th. So we were there and we had already come up with an idea of a 24-hour Inopreneur boot camp. So Inopreneur, uh, we meant that we want to combine innovators who are entrepreneurs. Innovation is about ideas. Innovation is about uh, creation of uh, groundbreaking ideas and uh, when it comes to business it means that uh, there are lots of business opportunities so the ground is still open for new business ideas. I bring on board uh, the, uh, the young minds believing that they are creative enough. We're going to create startups that understand how business is running right now. So what is going to happen is you come with your idea the next day you live out with a site that is operating, a social media platform, and you're ready to go to the market. So what we are saying is, instead of us just going to a market, how about there is a procedure of how to begin? I, I really feel this, this business hackathon, I, I like to call it a hackathon because it's similar to things I've seen outside Uganda. Uh, it's, it's a very, very interesting thing because you get to rack your brain for 24 hours straight, non-stop and you have to come up with a very solid standard idea, one that's going to make the next big change in, the, in, in probably the country or the world. That's the value of telling stories, especially African stories like ourselves. It's a belief that you are creating in your world for your customers to live in. You don't have to be the person who finds the solution, maybe you're the person who makes the solution known to everyone else.